Ever wonder why humans come in so many different shades? Like we're all part of the same species, but some of us look like we were born in a volcano and others like we were baked under the sun for a century. No, it's not because someone hit random on the pigment generator. It's actually science, evolution, UV rays, and the ultimate balancing act between survival and style. Let's break it down. It all starts with melanin. Melanin is the pigment that gives your skin its color. It's made by cells called melanocytes, and it comes in two main flavors, eumelanin, dark brown to black, and pheomelanin, yellow to reddish. Think of melanin as your body's natural sunscreen. The more melanin you have, the darker your skin, and the more protection you get from ultraviolet, UV, radiation. So why does that matter? Back in ancient times, like really ancient times, our ancestors lived in Africa, where the sun isn't just strong, it's wear a welding mask strong. To survive that kind of UV bombardment, our bodies needed a defense system. That's where darker skin comes in. High melanin levels protect against sunburns, ouch, skin cancer, double ouch, and most importantly, folate destruction. Folate is a vitamin crucial for DNA production and baby development. Too much sun equals fried folate equals big evolutionary problem. So people in high UV areas evolved with more melanin equals darker skin. But what about lighter skin? As humans migrated north into Europe and Asia, the UV intensity dropped. Suddenly, having all that melanin was like wearing a parka in July. Our bodies also need vitamin D, which we produce using, you guessed it, UV rays. But if your skin blocks too much sunlight, your body can't make enough. Cue the evolutionary remix. Humans in low UV regions evolved to have lighter skin so they could absorb more sunlight and crank out that sweet, sweet vitamin D. So it's a trade-off. Too much sun, you need protection. Too little sun, you need absorption. It's less about where you live now and more about where your ancestors lived for thousands of years. It's not just a black and white thing. Skin color is a spectrum, not a box. Populations near the equator, think India, Southeast Asia, South America, often have medium levels of melanin based on regional sun exposure. Some groups have olive tones, reddish undertones, or even freckles as adaptations to their specific UV environment. Evolution didn't pick a single right answer. It built a palette. And no, your tan from last summer doesn't count as evolution. Myths, misconceptions, and SP truth bombs. Let's clear this up. Skin color has nothing to do with intelligence, strength, or how good you are at math. That's junk science and just plain wrong. People with darker skin can still get sunburned, just less quickly. And yes, everyone should wear sunscreen, even if you're melanin rich, even if you never burn. UV radiation does not discriminate. Wait, why do we even care about this? Because understanding the science behind skin color helps fight racism. Plain and simple, it shows that we're all genetically connected and that our differences aren't about superior Priority. They're about adaptation, about survival, about thriving in different environments with the tools evolution gave us. Also, it's just cool science. What about eye and hair color? Since we're talking about melanin, let's not stop at skin. Melanin also affects your hair and eye color. Dark eyes and hair tend to be more common in places with high UV radiation. Again, thanks to melanin's protective powers. Light-colored eyes, like blue, green, and gray, they're the result of lower melanin levels in the iris and tend to pop up in populations from low UV environments. Blonde and red hair come from unique variations of the melanin-producing genes. And yes, redheads really do need more sunscreen. So next time someone compliments your eye color, you can say, thanks, it's an ancient UV adaptation, and watch them blink in confusion. Can skin color change over generations? Absolutely. Evolution doesn't take sides, it adapts. If a population lives in a new environment long enough and faces consistent selective pressure, skin color can shift over many generations. In fact, researchers have found genetic evidence that skin color has evolved independently multiple times. Some African populations have lighter skin than others. Some South Asian groups have darker skin than populations at similar latitudes. It's not about continent, it's about sun exposure and survival. Evolution is a remix artist, not a one-hit wonder. Your body's response to how much sunshine your ancestors had, kind of beautiful, right? Evolution didn't mess around. It optimized humanity like a biological solar panel. So next time you look in the mirror or at someone who looks totally different from you, remember, it's not about where you are. It's about where your ancestors danced with the sun. Drop a comment. What surprised you most about skin color science? We reply to every comment, and the best ones might inspire our next video. Like this video. Subscribe to YX for more surprising truths about the world. Turn on notifications so you never miss what's coming next.